We are familiar with churchyard and academic religious art and see them as such a glorious painting. But for this man, he didn't like the way it looked. Let me introduce Maurice Dennis. Maurice Dennis was born on 25th of November in 1870. He was the only son of a wealthy Christian family. He claimed that the Christianity is fairly essential to his individuality, aside with his love for his hometown's coastal line. He spent his early life studying at École de Ville, Art, and Academy Julian. At that time, post-impression was big, and he was also seeing the shift in the art. While he was at the school, he was friend with Paul Celucia, who had a huge admiration to this French painter, Paul Gauguin. One summer, when Celucia came back from meeting with Gauguin, he sat with his friend, including Maurice, and talked about what the Gauguin said about painting. So he did follow what Gugan said, and the result, he was happy. At the academy, he started joining in symbolist movement, and soon he became friends with various people who are later known as Nabi, aka a post-impressionist avant-garde artist group. In 1980, they formed official Nabi, believing their mission is to create new form of expression. Under the movement, he drew something like this, and this, and this. Sunrise on the Telus, it's painted in the style used by Celucia and Guggen. It has vivid color, yet depiction is simple. He and his fellow were satisfied with the result, but school rejected to be submitted in the exhibition, along with his fellow friends. He experienced the pain and sadness by rejection. Although he and his friends succeeded to host counter-exhibition at the cafe across the main exhibition, this was another shift in his art style. He started to draw more details combining the skills he learned from Gauguin and Celucia. Everything he paints started to connecting to his Catholic face. For example, this painting, Triple Portrait of Moth, he embodied his fiance, then wife, and his real muse. Features are representing the passive life in Solomon procession. After experiencing the rejection on his art, he started to draw religious painting in his unique way. If you see the original work of Jacob's Battle with the Angel by Gustav Dore, we can see how Morris changed up so many features to make the painting more relevant to everyone. And that was one of his goals, bringing religious art to everyday life. After Nabi, he painted things like this, 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 And this. Yes, he had a mission to paint religious art, but he was also greatly known as a master of painting landscape. However, his biggest interest remained in religious subject. So what exactly did he do? What was different from the other painters? Did he discover something by the avant-garde post impression artist group? Well, he said, remember that picture, before being a battle host, a nude, an anecdote, or whatnot is essentially a flat surface covered with the color, assembled in certain order. With this model, he influenced many artists and his art series later became the foundation of Cubism, Fauvism, and Abstract. Later on, after World War I, he emphasized the art to create more religious art corresponding to the people's needs who were devastated. This is Maurice Dennis, who showed great appreciation to religious, who had a passion to heal people with the power of art, and who also contributed to the form of new art movement. 